Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation, and it is Wednesday, July 20th. We're talking about the men's discus final last night. Absolutely awesome. Let's take a look at our top four. So let's start out. Fourth place goes to Daniel Stahl, the reigning Olympic champion and the reigning world champion. Stahl had a solid day, 67 meters 10. Uh, so he uh, just misses out on the podium. Guzdias, the 2017 world champion, uh, puts it together, has a good series, kind of 67-31 right out of the gate, 67-55 for his final throw, which he achieved in the fourth round. But let's talk about Alekna, the 19-year-old absolute sensation savage son of legend, Virgilis Alekna, first world championship, 69-27 as a 19-year-old. And then we have Christian Shea of Slovenia. He is the man. Um, this guy has started training with Gerd Cantor this past year, multiple meets over 70 meters, and he did not disappoint. I had a feeling it was going to be a 70 plus meter to win it. 71 13, championship record for Che, and uh, another followed up with a 70 51 in round five. At this point, with the ordering of the comp and in the final round, Che goes into that ring on his last throw, knowing he's the champion and puts it up. So let's look at it. Simon Peterson of Sweden, great qualifying round, finishes out fifth place at 67 meters. We want to look at Maddie Showtime Denny. My prediction for this final was going to be Christian Shea, Alekna, and Denny. I thought Denny is going to get out of that, you know, where he's just been two centimeters out of the last two major championships, Worlds and the Olympics, by centimeters missing out on the podium, finishing fourth in Doha and fourth in Tokyo. And, you know, he still had a fantastic day and put up his best throw of the day on his final round when he knows he's got to hit a PR, get in there. And of course he delivers a really excellent throw. Opened up with a modest throw, but um, everything else over 65 meters, multiple throws over 66 meters. Just another really strong showing from Matty Denny of Australia. And then you got Alan Fafrica of Romania. Again, 65-10 on the first throw to hold up. Bumps up the, that kind of had him in um, eighth place going into the final. And on his last throw, he goes 65-57 to bump Alex Rose of Samoa, who Alex had thrown 65-57 on his first throw. But since Alan had the second best, th better throw at 65-10, he gets the seventh place position. And of course, Alex Rose finishing um, eighth place, his first world final. So congratulations, he's the first Samoan to ever make a world final. And, uh, you know, no Alex and his coach, Dane Miller. So shout out to those guys, great job. Um, you see the Jamaican Frederick of here has had some injuries again. He's had some injuries the past two seasons. And 64-85 for Frederick, good series. Multiple throws over 65 meters, finishes strong, but just missed out on the final eight places to get his final three throw. Lucas Weisheidinger, again, guys always strong. Not sure if there's any injury issues there, but 63-98. So, you know, you know a guy's level is super tip, you know, super high. You figured he would have been in the final. The guys, the the Doha bronze medalist and the Olympic bronze medalist. Um but just a little bit of an off performance, 63.98. So a bad day for him is still close to 64 meters. Just tells you the level of thrower he's at. Sam Mattis making his second world final the USA. So congrats to Sam. Just uh, threw a little better in the qualifying, but um, just missed out on the top eight. And then Travis Smickle of Jamaica rounding it out, 62-23, so for 12th place. But just a fantastic final championship. Remember, Chase, just 23 years old. Um, and Alekna, just 19, he'll turn 20 in September. Che will turn 24 next February. The, the two, the, w to see where these guys are going to go over the next few years, I think Che, I, if, I, if I look at my research right, I think Che is the youngest world champion in history in the men's discus. I could be wrong, it could be go back, but I know in the modern, in the last four or five decades, th there has not been anybody that young winning the world title. And Alekna, again, both these guys got to have their sights set on the world championship or world record. And in the future, these guys are going to be, you know, they're just going to be battling it out. So what a final. 
Uh, had to get up in the morning, have a little coffee, give a little rundown, fanned it out. It was awesome to kind of watch and see the results popping up on uh, World Athletics. You know, you can see that stuff and they're posting the marks as they were hitting. So it was pretty exciting and uh, what a comp. And so hopefully you guys enjoy. So take care, uh, do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Comment below, Did you, what were your guesses? Did you come close? I got first and second, which I thought was cool. And I was rooting for Denny to pull it out and great job to all the competitors. What a final, what a show. Uh, and we'll see these guys, I'm sure, over in Europe in the coming weeks. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Take care guys, see you on the next video.